Hey everyone, Dan the Wild Birdman here. Today I'm doing a card of the day review on Heavenly Staff of Kind Intention Kothis. She is a grade 3 with Persona Ride and Twin Drive. Her effect is when this card is revealed for your drive check, you may call this card to an open rear guard circle. If you do, this unit gets boost until the end of turn. Now the reason that I think that this card is so interesting is it works its way into a few different builds. So the first build that comes to mind is Bastion, obviously, because you're going to be using a lot of grade 3s, and once per turn, you know, he's got his drive check ability where if your drive check reveals a grade 3, you discard a card from your hand, choose one of your rear guards, and you get to restand it and it gets plus 10,000 power. So if you're able to drive check her, then you can get plus 23k to whatever line, you know, she's called into. Um, next off we have Hexorb. Um, so if you're using Hexorb Sorceress, um, when you drive check and it reveals a trigger unit, you can choose one of your rear guards and it gets plus 10,000 power until the end of turn. So what's interesting is Hexorb's um, second ability is if you Persona Ride that turn, you can Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, and you can reveal up to one Critical Trigger or Front Trigger from your hand and put it to the top of your deck, and it not only gets um, plus one drive, so if you have you know the right luck and you're able to drive check into her, you can get a lot of power off that. You know, you're getting, you know, plus 23 at minimum if you're lucky, right? And lastly, but certainly not leastly, um, PBD, right? So if you're using Phantom Blaster Dragon, you know that Shadow Paladin decks, they tend to use a lot of resources. So if you're using Blaster Dark, if you're using Maka, if you're using PBD himself, you are retiring for those skills, right? So she is a nice little bit of food or fuel for those skills. And another cool thing is if you drive check her before your grade three turn, she can still get called to the rear guard. So she can be a 13k beat stick early game as well. But the interesting thing is she loses her boot her ability to boost at the end of your turn so it makes her an excellent target for sacrifice because she's just a 13k beat stick you know you don't have to really worry about oh am i gonna need this next turn nope go ahead sacrifice it get your effect off use it um overall i would probably give her probably like a three out of five because she's so viable in different things, and I really like that about this card. I really wish that they'd make more cards like this, because having, you know, the nations as opposed to clans, having cards that work in different ways in different decks is really exciting and interesting. Um, I would say as a tech card, as a niche card, as like a more fun card, I'd probably give her a 4 out of 5, just because... You know, she can be really good, but also that luck factor, you know, doesn't make her quite perfect. But I really, really enjoy this card. I highly recommend that you guys pick it up and give it a try. And let me know you guys' thoughts. Like, if you thought of a combo that I didn't mention, or, you know, you have other ideas for cards for me to review, I might get back to you on that. So feel free to leave me a comment. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.